Hello, 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 everyone. I hope that this video finds you all healthy, safe, and well. So, are we ready to get back to work? Are we ready to just get back to the way things were and get back to our lives? You know, we've got um, the, the four officers are now, you know, gonna go to trial and, you know, police look like they're doing some reform. Let's all just get back to business as usual, right? No, that's not gonna happen. And, you know, this is specifically for some of you that um, have been in such a rush. Since COVID hit, you know, we have a group of people that were just not down with the quarantine, not down with sheltering at home. And a lot of them seem to be the same ones who are not down for the Black Lives Matters and ain't down for the protesting and not down for all of the emotions that their fellow Americans are going through. Things are not going to be business as usual. Things are not going back to normal. Those of you that were rushing out to the lakes and the beaches and the malls and the restaurants, like they were going somewhere. And there's one thing I got to say about 2020, as much as we curse it, it's here to teach us a lesson. It's a tough lesson. And some of you still don't want to get it because this is just so damn uncomfortable. Isn't it uncomfortable? That we have to sit. At one point, we had to sit with ourselves. We had to face ourselves, right? So that's what the quarantine was about, sitting and facing ourselves. Now, now we have to face the things that this country has done. We have to face the part and the role that we have played we have to face our fellow neighbors, our African-American friends. We have to face the truth. We don't want to face that. We have a problem with being uncomfortable. And I'm sorry, this is the time to be uncomfortable. There's no more comfort zone, people. Because I, feel, hey, Joanna, so good to see you. I feel strongly that if there is going to be any sort of change, any shift, any growth, any learning, it has to be in this space where we are. This feeling of uneasiness. And I've been hearing this from quite a few of you. Well, when can we start back to do this? And when can we do that? And, and you know, and, and this uncomfortableness about having these conversations and, and facing people. And you've got to, you've got to sit in that. that. That's where the growth is. That's where the healing is in that uncomfortableness. Sit on the edge of your seat. For once, you be the one to just be quiet and listen. And, and I have to put this excerpt in here too. <laughs> um, I'm surprised that there have been several of my white friends that I have known for some time who have yet to pick up a phone and call me and talk to me or text me. Is it a requirement? No, but it would have been nice. But they have very loud voices about what they think and how they think about what should be going on. I don't want to get into that, um, but that sort of rubbed me the wrong way. I feel some of that too is not wanting to be uncomfortable in the sitting back and watching and listening and um, also being on the other end of a conversation. Um, let me show this, let me show what I'm doing, let me show 
you know, all of this, this support and this, this is it. Let me give all of my answers and what I think is best. And then that will cover that part of being uncomfortable for you. I'm telling you, this is a moment where we see, we truly see who your friends are, who the leaders are. We see the authenticity in people in this moment. That's why I don't want us to be afraid of being uncomfortable. This is the realness. And for those of you that are all right with this, you know who you are. Joanna, you're one of them. <laughs> for those of you that are, are, you're just, you're all right with this and you're still here asking, what can I do? You're still asking questions. You're still watching and learning. You're still taking responsibility for your role and, 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 and wanting to do, know what can you do to be a part of the healing process. Thank you. And I want to share this with you. This is a manifesto. This is not mine, but this is from a powerful um, group that I'm a part of called the, the Red Elephant Herd. And I'm just going to read a small part of this, but this is for you. Most people would rather stay comfortable. And you're not most people. This is your time. Get uncomfortable and take a stand. I love that. That is what this is all about. Being uncomfortable and taking a stand. And usually when we take a stand, there's going to be people who are going to try to come up against you, have something to say to you, criticize you, judge you. You know, that means you're doing something right. <laughs> so we can't be afraid of that. We cannot be afraid of this moment because if we truly believe that this country can be everything that we say it is right the greatest country in the world it is only that by the character and the behavior that the people of the country have we make up this melting pot we make up what this country is about. And so this is our moment to really rise up and be a part of that shifting and, 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 and proving to everyone that we are who we say we are. We're seeing it all over the world and everyone is in agreement. It's time for a change. So let's move forward with that. Let's stay in this un uncomfortable zone and let's make things happen. So thank you guys for coming on again today. And as I always say, go out and change the world. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.